What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Divic and holy cow. So acros have changed on Scorched Earth and you know what? I want to just go ahead and jump right into this thing. So I brought over a ton of biotoxin. I have more on the, on the Jerboa. But uh, we have this Ascendant Acro. Now, this is the only one on the map right now because of the changes made to... Oh. Oh, that's different. That's right. Uh, awesome. Spyglass also got an update, and I'm seeing it already. Uh, there's a little bit better, more spacing with the stat distribution there. I like that, actually. I don't know why it says 104 Biotoxin there still. But, um, okay, so if... So, uh, yeah. Ascendant Acro's no longer... Ascendant Acros and regular Acros no longer spawn on the map. Instead, we have Scorched ones. Now, this guy was already on the map, so... And I haven't done a wipe yet, so... That being said, this one is totally fine. But let's go ahead and put Spark uh, Speedy away. We're probably not going to need him. So, let us shoost the Acro. And let's get started. Let's do this. Acro taming is actually very, very simple if you know what you're doing. So basically, he's in this stance. There's a there's a small chance he'll do a false roar. Got him. And I use a pistol because honestly, this one and it does the lowest amount of damage out of all the all of the guns. So I want to make sure I don't end up killing this thing by accident. <laughs> gotcha. One thing you definitely don't want to do is turn your back on, on the acro like I'm doing right now. I mean, I'm completely calm. I'm fine. I know exactly what I'm doing. So. Oh, I'm reloading them. Come on, come on. Get yes. <gasps> Okay. Okay, come on. Really, Titanic Bow? All I would need to do is just get him to roar. <laughs> and he'll take care of everything else for me. Or she will, rather. So is she going to do the false roar for me? No, she's not. Okay. She might do it. Now I'm just going to go ahead and one take this. Get the whole taming on camera. And then we'll go for... And then we'll go for, like, some scort... I'll do a dino wipe and do some scort... Look for some scort joints. I mean, I was I was hoping to do the ascendant acros over here, and then and then just come bring them all together on the island eventually, and then I have all the berries back in. So we're just we're just loaded back in. I I just had to restart the server. Wait, did it save that I fixed my armor? Yes, it did. Okay. So one thing that was changed for our additions ascended is that all the saddles can be crafted in the smithy now rather than in your inventory. Of course, if you have a have a blueprint like this. And, oh, it's oh, it's raw metal now and stone. Interesting. Wait, they changed the recipes. Oh, interesting. The recipes are different now. I, I, oh, well, those ones are. How about how about acro? Acro, you need raw. You need raw metal for acro saddle now and stone. Um, hmm. I don't. I would have to look into that, because that doesn't... What? Um, if you're new, uh, Acro. All right, let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Did I put it on the... Did I put it on the bird? Where's my Acro? Is this you? Yes, it is. Okay. Ascended Acro. Every 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 big update, uh, the, um, the icon changed this to Raptor. And, oh! It's... Wait, what the heck? Are you still in a... Are you still in Ascendant? Okay. Wait, 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 what? Okay, hold on. What's going on here? Everything is glitching. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Well, uh, Acro Saddle, I guess. Let's... Let's utilize our... The unsmelted metal, I guess. 
All right, well, welcome back. So I can't turn these down. So we got a one, 150 right here and then a 145 right over there. I had to mark it, so I had to beeline for base real quick <laughs> and try to get these guys. All right, so let's get in close. All right, come on, come on. Come this way. Come this way, you, you morbid son of a gun. Oh crap, I'm gonna I might need more babies. Are you chasing me? No you're not. Okay. That's that feels very weird to say, but Alright, so this is all I got for for the for these guys. So um I probably shouldn't bring them out all at once. Hey, go. Merry Christmas. No. Go away. I think I think four should do it. Uh oh. Oh man, I don't know if I have enough. I might have to go back and get more. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, the, well this is a 150 after all. Irma Gersh. Um, wow, you ate all of them. Um, okay, I'm gonna go back to base to get some more beef. <laughs> more of these <laughs> alright welcome back in um, I didn't find a new Fasola Sucus or, or not, not Fasola Sucus but a new what's it but I did find this I don't know what it's and oh hi 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 okay run 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 yep we got another waste sword and an alpha death worm where'd it go there you are okay I'm gonna need some backup uh do what Okay, Direwolf. Actually, why not? Fasola Sukis. And Thorny Dragon. Oh, this dire wolf is dead. Oh, I, oh, we got it. Oh my gosh. Wow. Thanks, guys. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, I have so many wyverns. So many wyverns in my pocket right now. Yeah, wow, that was that was an that was an experience. So finally, after like 45 minutes of running around. We finally got a Scorched Acro to spawn. And man, I've literally been killing every single Acro I see, even even the good ones. Okay, not all the good ones. Like, I did get a, another 150 male, which... Uh, but we got ourselves an Ascendant a Scorched Acro, finally. So I'm just going to put you down right here. Actually, you know what? Much like before, let's go ahead, pick you up. I did get a replacement Jerbobo. I went ahead and also and uh, leveled it up significantly in health. So let's do this. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, it's just going to be the exact same as every other Scorch or Acro tame taming process. Just run up to it, feed it Biotoxin, exit stage right, go from there. So y'all aren't going to miss much. I'm going to go ahead and tame this guy. And, uh, yeah, of course, we'll just go from there. Uh, what, once we get a bunch of these guys collected, I will bring you all back, um, at base. Alright, welcome back, welcome back. So, I've done a couple things since the lot, and it's been several hours since the last clip, so let, let's get into it. First and foremost, I have created a wall. I'm still working on that part, but I've created a wall around the base area. So it's right here, right here, right there, 
right over here. Just put a bunch of gates over here. And just a wall and just a singular gate right over here. This is to prevent any creatures from getting into my base. But as well, as well, one more thing, one more thing. I'm, I'm, I'm being hidden on purpose. I'm hiding it on purpose. But um, I redid the breeding area. So let's, let's check it out. So here it is. This is the new breeding breeding area. It's much bigger. It's actually bigger than the main base, actually, which is crazy to me. But yeah, like the the whole point of rebuilding this thing, and I had all the resources already stocked up, and it was actually quite simple. Is for these guys, the acros. They can so they can somewhat fit. I mean, they kind of fit, but not really. But yeah, these are the scorched ones. They're they're coming together. I got, I got the oxygen and the food um, breeding together right now. It's coming along very very well. So, yeah, nothing nothing's changed at the greenhouse. It still has the metal the metal on the top there. Uh, but yeah, this is also so when we do mer when we breed up Meraxes and whatnot, there will be plenty of space and whatnot. But here, let, let's jump let's jump in. Oh nope nope nope, Speedy Speedy please. Uh, land. Thank you. All right. So let's check out the old internals. You come here. All right. Let's check out the inside. I mean, it's literally just the, still the same, same general building. It's just bigger and more rectangular. And you know, the the whole point was just just to, so I can be able to breed the bigger creatures because you know they're all, like Fasola. Soul is one, uh, Meraxes is another, Eokakaria, even though it's not very big. Eokakaria is another one, and the, um, as well as just the Wyverns. Because, you know, I already know, uh, like, I wanted to make this bigger, and rather than make a mega platform or something crazy like that, I figured, you know what, let's just do, a, like, a big square. Rather than make a whole, like, te just tear down the whole thing, right, and then just make a brand new building just off to the side somewhere. I figured, you know what, let's just tear down the, the circle, make a big rectangle, and kind of just go from there. All right, welcome back, welcome back. We have our ascended acros out with all of the best stats combined, and oh my goodness, these guys. I love the acro so much. I really do. It is my number one favorite Archaditions creature. Uh, right behind it being the... Um, the Dinosuchus. But if you want to see the stats there, go ahead and pause on the screen. You can have a look. Is that a good level per Coptodon? Because that was actually a nice color. Those are nice colors. But yeah, uh, it is. Everything is exactly the same as Vanilla Acro. No, nothing too, nothing too fancy schmancy. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, let's go right here. Cool. So orbit camera. So L1 is the roar. Shield stance is the, is the right click, of course, and of course you can roar while in this stance. And if you right trigger, you can go ahead and just send people flying into the stratosphere with with, with this honestly full body kind of attack that looks cool, feels cool, and you know we're gonna have to go to some dangerous areas to get the adrenaline, show off the adrenaline attack. But I mean, oh, is that are those acros over there? Oh, it sure is, Acro's over there. Hold on, hold on. Now we have an opportunity to show off the uh, the adrenaline buff. Let's go ahead and put, put you away. Let's put you away, and let's go, Acro. Oh my gosh, do I have... I don't think I actually have a name for it, for Acro's just yet. What, now, what are you guys? Are you guys are you guys good level, or do you suck? All right, Roar of Challenge. Let's, let's get the adrenaline going. Oh yeah, and also left trigger, while not in adrenaline mode, is stomp attack. Boom, son. So if I go into shield stance here. Okay, let's kind of, let's see if we can't get the other one's attention. Okay, got the, got your attention. Got your attention. Are you guys both, you're both female, okay. 
All right, so basically how this works is you just tank some damage for a little bit. Now, there was an update made to where now it doesn't matter if it's, you have an Ascendant Saddle on or a Primitive Saddle. It doesn't matter. The Adrenaline is going to go up the exact same. So now we have a maximum Adrenaline, and I can go ahead and hit the attack, and boom! Now, if I quickly smack... If I if had another creature out, and if I had another guy out, what I could do is is um, give the adrenaline to my fellow creatures. So in this mode, your attack speed is, is quicker, your movement speed overall is a lot quicker as well, and you also just destroy everything you walk by. You destroy rocks, you destroy, just walk right through trees. You are an unstoppable force, and of course you can still roar it well in this dance as well. So you are an immovable object. You are just an unstoppable object. I don't want to say a movable object because you're move. You're moving at like lightning speed, as far as like a mega carnivore is concerned, and it just drains up just as quickly. But yeah, really good, really good changes. This was this was recent. Uh, this was an this is an ASA exclusive. So if you're playing on um, ASE, you do not have the, this update. Neither do you have this admittedly sick model. Like, the, the Vanilla Acro looks exactly the same. I'll probably just pop it, pop an image on screen of uh, my Acros back on ASC, or back on Island. But uh, not the mutated ones, because I haven't shown them on, on camera just yet. In fact, I might be going to Island once the Evo mod comes in, comes to console finally and comes to crossplay. I will be going over to the Island for a little while, what, little while, because I have a lot of mutated creatures that I want to show off. And I want to make sure that those guys get proper representation. But yeah, that is the Ascended Acro. Super cool, super cool. So let's get the new kid on the block. The Scorched Acrocanthosaurus out next. We got the new kid on the block. The new kid on the block is here. The Ascend... The Scorched Acrocanthosaurus. That's what I fight you want, buddy. Told ya. All right, let's do this. So again, much like the other variants, there's nothing special about this guy except for it has the fuzz on the back, which you know, super freaking cool, honestly. But yeah, I'm noticing too. One thing I'm noticing is, I could be wrong, but it does feel like the neck on this one is a little bit bigger. I could be wrong. But there are there have been like subtle variant differences in creatures before, and I could just be missing, not seeing things properly. And I will fully admit to being wrong if that's the case. But this guy feels chunkier for some reason. I don't know what it is. But also one thing that's kind of funny is that the. Um, one thing Garuga mentioned is uh, there was some clipping with 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 this variant. I personally don't see it here. There was some clipping with the saddle, but it looks like it was kind of fixed. If you guys see the clipping, do let me know because I, I'm I'm very curious what the clipping was, what the clipping is that he's talking about. Because uh, I I don't see it. I mean, this creature looks amazing. I would have liked to have that white on the belly the belly area so you can see more of the pattern. But you know what? We'll we'll work, worry about that when we get to once we get to uh, mutations and stuff, which that's is gonna be a cold minute. I'm gonna have to go to Island for sure because uh, I, I may have upgraded the uh, the breeding facilities, but I don't think this it's big enough to uh, mutate a bunch of different uh, different what's it at the, at the exact same time. But yeah, Scorched Acro, very, very cool. I like the little fuzz on the back of the head, on the, on the back. It's very nice. I pointed it out earlier, but I do like the little fuzzy fuzz on the back. And um, yeah, no, really cool, really cool. I must say, I must say. Uh, get off me. There we go. But yeah, um, that's. I think that's good enough for today. Let's, um, okay, let's head on back to base, I think. And if we weren't, like, a, it'd be funny if we went into, like, an Alpha Death Worm or something. Because I did get jump scared by an Alpha Death Worm. 
but like an episode or two ago. I think it might have been last episode. I don't know. I'm I'm like recording a lot of these videos back to back, so it's hard to remember which what happened in which episode. But the last episode, I'll tell you what, is a whole lot of crazy. I was showing off a bunch of mutations that are um, good stats that I coll collapsed on like three different creatures. Then we turned to Megatherio. Then we got a freaking we got a dope wyvern egg, which oh my gosh, there was so much going on. I think that was last episode. I don't recall. But yeah, of course, this one too also has the cool stance. What is that angle? <laughs> okay, so this was a derp on my part. I forgot about Moraxes. Oops. But yeah, here we are with our boy Moraxis, the Scorched variant. Super freaking cool. I love this thing. And you know what? It actually took me like no time at all to get all the all the stats combined for this dude. I'm actually very impressed with that. So, Moraxes. What's so special about Moraxes? Now for it's got it's got a lovely stomp attack. It has rage mechanics, much like the acro. And it is also super freaking scary to deal with in general. Okay good, you didn't steal anything. You know, if you get if you get hurt enough enough, you actually get um, not like not like old uh, Mister Man, Mister uh, Acro, where if you get hurt enough, you automatically go into rage. You can press a button and go into rage. No, Moraxes kind of has an automatic rage that just kind of happens, and once once that happens, you get you get a stomp attack. You get a, a very nice stomp attack, actually. And then uh, you also have a healing buff, healing infusion type thing. Actually, can I just tank the damage here for a second? Oh, here we go. There's the rage. So now that we're in rage, I think we can stomp multiple times. Oh yeah. So when you're in rage mode, you can stomp, you can do a stomp attack, and then just yeet people. People. And if there was a, if there was a small creature. Or if it's a smaller creature, like say a raptor or something, if you stomp and when you do the stomp attack, you automatically just catapult that creature into the freaking next dimension, and it is the most satisfying thing to land. Unfortunately, I have yet to actually land this attack maneuver, but man, it is so freaking neat. Like it is so cool looking, and also Moraxes just looks really nice when when in rage mode. But also, one thing I noticed too, is um, it kind of, like the jaw kind of does an unhinge, if you notice. But you know, that that's what makes Moraxes so cool, I think. Now, do I wish this guy was in base game? Oh, 100%. Now, is he the most, be is he like one of the best modded, modded creatures in the workshop right now? I would say yes to that. I mean, he doesn't need, he doesn't need a whole bunch of stuff. He has a really cool stomp. He has a, a freaking rage mechanic that's decent. And also, just being able to just catapult yeet creatures into the next dimension with one attack move is very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and get, get enraged again if we can. Oh, here we go. There we go. So now let's do the stomp again. Okay, so for bigger creatures, he, he does he does a multi stomp that literally just steps on their head. Okay, so rage mechanic, we gave it for like 30 seconds. Okay, not bad, not bad. So can, can, we'll be able, will we be able to? To yeet us a creature. Oh, yup, there we go. Yeet! Oh, that was nice. But yeah, like the, the stomp attack literally just sen sends a creature up and then they just get yeeted into the next dimension, which again, I've, I, I, could, I could say it a million times, that move is so satisfying. But yeah, Moraxes, really cool creature. I did also complete a mutation stack for this guy, so... 
that's definitely going to be a thing that's shown off when we go back to the island. Um, in fact, you know what? This may be the last episode I do. Because, um, I do believe... If I were to wager a, a guess... If I were to wager a guess, I would say that, um... Scorched... or Scorched Earth. Uh, what am I trying to say? Um, the Evo mod should be dropping soon. If I were to wager a guess. Now, I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm right, I'm right. But, I mean, it's I would imagine the middle of the month would probably be really, a really good time to release. But I don't know. Um, I haven't... As the Paleo News guy, I have to mention it. But, and I... And also, I'm going to say it here. I know this is like the end of the episode, but I know you guys are very exci I know some people are very... Pa being... Uh, are, are, well, huh. How do I words? I know you guys are really excited for the mod to drop. I'm excited too. Like I said in the community tab, I'm I'm literally holding out on specific videos because e the Evo Giga is not in the game yet. Like I know, I know how excited you guys are, but now I'm getting I'm getting people com commenting on like news videos saying like, oh it's still not out yet. It's not out yet as of this date. In fact, I got a comment like two days ago on one of my videos about it's not out as of the 14th i'm like yeah no kidding dude <laughs> but i get those comment those kind of comments now all the time and i'm just gonna say it here uh stop just just stop it seriously just knock it off please i will just delete your comment and just block you from the channel because i know i know qu quicker i mean quicker than most people that it's not out yet I would know more than anybody else that hey, Paleo Arc Evolution and Ascension, it's not out yet. I know. And there's even a Paleo version of Maraxis, by the way. And it's really freaking cool. I've seen the patterning for it. It's nice. And that's just waiting for Ascension, by the way. But yeah, no, guys, but seriously, I know you're excited. But fussing at me in the comment section is not gonna make the make the mod come out any quicker. Alright? Just just chill out. I know you're amped. I know you're excited. I know you really want this mod to be out already. I do too. But unlike y'all, I'm patiently waiting. Alright, so let, let's head on back to base and we'll call it today's episode. Oh, I love that. I love that roar. Alright, you guys, now, that, now that's gonna do it for this video. I hope y'all did enjoy. And here we are in photo mode to get up close and personal with our newest acquisitions for the day. And also, Meraxes does have idle breaks, which is really, really nice. There's just, there's a couple of them right there. And I, I do wish more creatures actually had these idle breaks, which is really, really nice. I do hear that the, the Giga, the Evo Giga does have them. But uh, yeah, super freaking cool. Love these guys. But yeah, if y'all did enjoy the video, do drop a like. And sorry for the little bit of the rant there on um, on the Meraxis clip there. I just had to get that out there. Like, I do get I get comments like that. I've been getting those comments a lot lately. And you know, I, I I'm not gonna make a Paleo News video just for that. So I figured I'd mention it here. All right, but like, just be patient. All right, I I know, I know. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Thank y'all for the support on everything else, though. Super freaking cool, super freaking cool, I must say. But, uh, where, uh, let's see. We are at 1,021 subscribers. Thank y'all so much for that. Well, that's how I'm recording this anyway. And, uh, yeah, appreciate you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.